Konnichiwa, Watashi wa Koduton Des. Uh, I want to do a movie review because I did a stream the other day. I like doing that, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna record this one. I'm gonna edit it in post. You're gonna know what I just said. As I said a, word, a few words in Japanese at the beginning. But uh, today we're going to be re re reviewing, removing this viewy, re reviewing this movie. Really, nigga? It's called the, the Great Wall. It's by Matt Damon. I'll get closer so you can see. This is The Great Wall by the illustrious Matt Damon we all know and love. We all know and love well. And uh, this movie's pretty cool because every, every one of your favorite characters dies in it. Uh, and I like that a lot when movies do that. I think it's great they just kill them off in, in an awful, unforeseen way. But The Great Wall by Matt Damon is a great film. Uh, it stars... Matt Damon, of course, as I've said, and uh, the other guy. We're gonna call him the other guy. We're gonna call the, the him the other guy. There's Matt Damon and the other guy. They're from England, I believe, or something. I don't know. I don't know where they're from. They're from a Western country, not Asian. They go to Asia. And they find out this, that they built this great wall, and they have a lot of weapons technology that we do not. And, uh, they're looking for black powder, I guess, but they, they discover that the Chinese people have been fighting off an invasion of, of, like, weird rabid dog creatures. And, uh, they've, they would, they've just been, like, fighting this onslaught of rabid dog creatures, uh, for a very long time. I don't know when it started. It doesn't explain any of it. It just shows a cool shot of ballistas firing at CGI creatures. And they use that instead of a plot, which I think is very courageous. Instead of having a plot to your movie, just 15 shots of ballistas firing, uh, flaming balls of oil, uh, fireballs just flown, just flinging into the crowd of, of weird creatures, weird alien dog creatures. And, uh, they end up they they end up invading the they end up making it past the wall Ugh, eventually excuse me they make it past the wall eventually uh, I don't remember how oh I do I do remember because the emperor he wanted to see he wanted to see one of the creatures because he's never been outside of his palace and he doesn't want to go outside his palace to see one so they bring like an injured creature in. They find out that they're that they're like their weakness is magnetism. That they have a little magnet on an amulet, and that they're they're hurting this creature. But then they drop the amulet or something, and the creature gets loose, and it's inside the city, and it breaks down the wall from inside the city, and the and the the creatures come over, and they're just running, they're running, they're running, they're going after every person they can get their hands on they're hungry as shit right and uh uh they they break through but then matt damon and the other guy they have to go into the city and they 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 take their they take their bows and arrows their swords and they shoot they, 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 they shoot the ballistas like before right 15 shots shooting ballistas five minutes of the movie 20 minutes of the entire film is shooting ballistas. The other 50 minutes is them just shooting bows and arrows and hitting people, hitting little gremlins with swords. And they're hitting these gremlins of creatures, right? And they're hitting them with the swords and they're killing them. But then Matt Damon's character has to get the amulet, the magnetism amulet, sometime into the crowd where the queen is because the queen, it's like a hive mind, right? They explain that somewhere in there. I don't know. It was in Chinese. I didn't read the subtitles. But he throws the amulet into where the queen is. It gets through miraculously. Insane, right? I'm flabbergasted. It makes it through the massive wall of creatures protecting that queen. 
I'm flabbergasted. My jaw, my jaw drops to the floor, much like Brian Griffin in Family Guy when he sees Lois Griffin's You Know What, okay? And my jaw drops. It literally drops to the floor. The man that gets through, the queen is is dead, dude. It blows into a million pieces. Guts and viscera are flying around. It hits the camera. It slaps onto the cameraman. The cameraman doesn't know what's going on. And the movie ends. It ends. Everyone's dead except Matt Damon. He, he stopped them. He stopped them. Every, everyone's dead except Matt Damon. He's the only one that wins. Matt Damon's the winner. Everyone else that we cared about in the movie is dead. And that's awesome. I like that Matt Damon gets to live. Arguably the worst character in the whole film. Nothing to the character at all. This gets a 3 out of 10. <laughs> Fuck the Great Wall and Matt Damon. This movie sucks my ass. I liked cool ballistas. I liked cool alien creatures. Movie had no plot. Most of it was wasting time. Fuck Matt Damon. Okay. That about wraps it up. Check that video. Uh, check something up there. Or maybe check that video and something up there. I'm not certain where it's going to be. Because I haven't made it yet. But, uh... I'll catch you on the flip-flop. That's where the transition goes. <laughs>